Welcome, Silver Size family. <laughs> this is Dave Hall speaking. Um, it's good to be in front of you. It's been a while. I hope everybody's doing okay and enduring uh, the challenges that we have. Um, I'm hoping everybody's be beginning to really experience what Silver Size can do for you. Now, I know a lot of you have had some great results, and some of you have been a little discouraged. And I want to talk a little bit about that in a few minutes. But first, we're going to read some. Uh, customer reviews, and I want to encourage you if you've had an experience with seller size, please share it with us so we can share it with others. Um, it's helping so many people on so many different levels. So, with that in mind, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, what we're going to be doing tonight, we're going to go over the customer reviews. Um, I'll read some questions that we may have, and and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk a little bit about how we can overcome being discouraged. Because some of us have gotten great results and others are haven't reached the level of results that they've been looking for. So I want to share a little bit about my feelings on that, what I've, I've experienced um, when I've worked with people over the years. And how we can help you feel joyful, feel excited be engaged and be um, experience, experiencing more of your, your greater health potential as well. So if you know of anybody who should be listening to this, anybody who's got um, issues, uh, we're going to be sharing uh, quite a few uh, customer reviews tonight that might be beneficial to them too. We want to share this. We've got a grassroots movement. It is increasing. It is growing. Uh, our, you know, We're getting out to more and more people. We were tripped up by the COVID-19. I want to thank all of you for your incredible patience and in waiting for the trifolds to arrive. We are now shipping out trifolds. Uh, the price of the trifolds was supposed to change at the beginning of last week. They did change, but there was a discrepancy on our website. It's supposed to be $75 more on a trifold than it is right now. So if you know anybody who's really interested in a trifold, have them order right now because I've got my webmaster team working on the issues so that we can we, we have no choice. We have to raise our costs because our costs have gone up. Uh, the COVID-19 has disrupted our supply chain, so half folds can be ordered at the the lower cost now until the next shipment arrives. And the half fold seller sizers will be shipping out mid September. We've got all the components. We're putting them together. And we're working at getting components ready for our next shipment. And for those of you who um, are joining us who are not really familiar with Solar Size, Solar Size is not weight lifting. It's not a conventional form of exercise. Solar Size is weight bearing. The difference is that rather than lift weight away from gravity, we're increasing the weight of gravity. That increase of weight is on every cell membrane in your entire body over 100 times a minute. As every muscle, bone, connective tissue, ligament, tendon, skin, collagen, protein, fibers, the movement up and down, I like to think of it like a scrub brush. As you move up and down, all the fluid in your body all moving up and down. And as we move up and down, we help back flush valves, we help open up circulatory systems, both in the lymphatic system as well as in the circulatory system. The movement up and down makes it easier on the heart. The heart doesn't have to work as hard, even though you get great exercise. The moving up and down is helping to move the fluid through the one-way balance, through the capillaries, to the brain, and other body parts and functions. So great exercise that eliminates up to seven-eighths of the ballistic impact or jar to your skeletal system compared to running on a hard surface. There are many different movements we can do on a cellular sizer to focus the effect. So we address knee issues, hip, back, shoulder issues by working at structuring and strengthening the supporting muscles and ligaments around the joints. We worked a lot with chiropractors and trainers, physical therapists and doctors of all genres. If you know of any and they would like to know more about solar size, I'm happy to share with them. I've been doing this now for over 30 years. Um, I helped reignite the entire mini trampoline industry and developed the trifold cellar sizer. It's not a typical rebounder. You can't buy these in a, in a, in a store that through doctors, health practitioners, and through our, our Cellular Size family and affiliates. So the Cellular Sizer uses a tridactable spring design. It's a different patented spring that has a larger diameter in the middle. Then it has a ridge where it tapers, and then another ridge where it tapers again. So it doesn't matter whether you're 
20 pounds or over 300 pounds. The spring is the only self-adjusting thing of its kind on the market. And as you move up and down, you're going to be utilizing that portion of the spring you need based upon how much you weigh or how high you are jumping. In seller size, we teach leverage. We teach people how to alter the angle of their body in different positions. So we can focus the effect on different muscle groups. But unlike typical calisthenic or, or typical exercises, even though we can focus on certain areas of the body, the entire body is still working collectively as a whole, not as parts. And so we've experienced an enormous amount of strength and balance that we've been able to apply to everything out in the sports industry, whether it's football, whether it's um, tennis, whether it's um, uh, aerobic activities of, of, of martial arts. What we do is we help you create strength in balanced positions as well as unbalanced positions. For example, if you're working the, uh, if you're working the, the stomach muscles, and you're tilting backwards a little bit. As I tilt backwards, I'm becoming strong in an altered position. Nobody else is doing that. No one out there is becoming strong in an altered position. Not like you can on a solar sizer. And so that gives you a competitive advantage in virtually any activity. If you're working the lower back and the buttocks and you're leaning forward or you're doing jumping jacks, by the way, this is the way that I recommend jumping jacks on a solar sizer so that you're not landing on the springs because you land on the springs doing jumping jacks you can potentially fracture or break the spring. The movement up and down helps to break up stress or tension, increases circulation. Um, again, for all areas of the body, we teach people how to create or re remove the stress or tension in the body through the gentle movement up and down, much like a baby if a baby's fussy and we gently move a baby up and down, they relax. Well, the movement up and down on the solar sizer is extremely relaxing. We do different movements um, on the solar sizer for, you know, this one I, I think has been absolutely wonderful for men, for the prostate areas, as well as for uh, hips, thighs, and knees. Um, I'm not going to tell you who the doctor said on my last physical, but just say that he was blown away. Um, he really was. <laughs> he gave me a nickname, which I'm not going to repeat. But it doesn't, it doesn't matter because the cellular size has been just a phenomenal um, program. And we want to encourage everyone who hasn't tried it, please try it. Give it, a, give it a chance. See what it does in your own personal life. I could tell you, and I could speak for hours, and I have on, on YouTube um, programs that you can access through our YouTube channel that deal with all kinds of uh, circulatory issues and what people have experienced. You can go to our website, sellersize.com forward slash reviews, and you can listen to what people are saying. And I'd like to read, uh, read some of these right now. This comes from Sarah. As a lifelong asthmatic, 45 years, seller sizing is literally the only exercise that has helped increase my lung function capacity while at the same time not stressing them to the point that I need to take my inhalers. Thank you, Dave Hall, for this miracle machine. There's a technique that I designed and developed on the solar sizer that helps to open up bronchial tubes and lungs. You have to approach it cautiously and carefully, and if you have a medical condition, I always have to say consult with your doctor or health practitioner, or feel free to have them give me a call. But rather than going out and doing a lot of long distance running or swimming activities, Standing on a solar sizer, bending at the knee slightly, putting the hands in front, and gently moving up and down, breathing in and out, helps to open up the bronchial tubes in the lungs, helps to clear them out, helps to make them stronger without having to go out and do a lot of those long distance running uh, type programs to exercise the lungs. And if you're a singer or you like, um, you're a radio announcer, you all honestly should be learning how to do this. I really believe that because of what it does, but you, you may even hear it in my voice when I'm done. But it's a movement where we uh, just bend at the knee, stand up, breathe in, come down.
Oh, I don't know if anybody was able to hear me or not. But uh, let's see. Oh, now it's on now. Maybe that's better. Anybody comment? Yeah? Okay. Thanks, Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. All right. So I, were they able to hear any of it? Mm -hmm. Oh, good. Okay. Sorry, guys. Okay. It's just quieter. This is going to be better now. So that moving up and down. It helps to get to the other one third of the lungs that most people don't get enough oxygen to on a day-to-day -day basis as it opens up bronchial tubes and lungs. Now those lungs and those bronchial tubes can be sensitive when you first begin. You can be clearing things out. So I don't suggest you do it too much when you first begin. Just see, you know, and see how your body feels after, after you've done it. So thank you, Sarah, for sharing that. Hello, Dave. I trust all as well. I purchased uh, Half old solar sizer after watching your most recent YouTube video dated June 1st, 2020. Prior to that day, I watched several of your videos for a number of weeks. <laughs> I don't know whether to apologize or <laughs> say thank you, but was waiting for the right time to make the purchase. The catalyst was the introductory message that you gave in that video regarding learning to enjoy the journey. As I watched and listened, I was impressed by the relevancy of every word you spoke. You see, just the night before I had experienced one of those moments you described, I was literally in that dark room fighting against that which was wrong. In that state of mind, everything you described took place, the frustration, the despair, etc. That night I cried out to God for answers to overcome and rise above my circumstances. The very next day I watched your video and the first statement that you made helped me to see why I have not been enjoying the journey. You can't find happiness at the end of the journey if you're not willing to bring it along with you along the way. Be thankful for what I currently have and identify what is good in my life. And it's so important we do that. We need to have an attitude of gratitude. And as we do that, we become empowered. We become happier. We become more joyful. We become more on purpose. But when we fight against the things that are wrong and we dwell upon that and we play in the pig pen, then, then that just tears us down. And so we're going to talk about that because we don't want to get in that pig pen. We want to stay out of the pig pen. The moment you realize that you're in your mind, you're fighting against something that is wrong, get out of that. Get out of it. There's nothing productive in fighting against that which is wrong. You actually become frustrated, angry, and hostile, and all these negative character traits. So um, we've got to guard against that. Um, we've got such incredible potential if we could learn how to channel it. We've talked about physical exercise. We're also going to talk a little bit about mental exercise tonight because the mental exercise is just as important as the physical exercise and we literally have to take steps to exercise our, our, our thoughts and our ideas and our, our vision and as we actually begin to do that it takes root and our passion and our actions start to change as well. So envision the outcome that I desire rather than focusing on the current circumstances. Yeah, we're all on a journey, and in that journey, we, um, we, are just, we can be defining the direction of that journey, where we want to go. And if we don't do that, then we're just kind of tossed around in our day-to-day -day lives and never really are able to focus or reach that greater health potential and, and on, on many different levels. So, you said that our goals and objectives are great, but the process of achieving them is what defines us and our character and the person we are becoming. This spoke volumes for me because I saw that when I focused exclusively on the goals, objectives, needs, and even the problems, I found myself in a state of frustration and defeat. And we're going to talk a little bit about that. I also recognize in your statement that I know what I know is the heart of God, which is to see us develop in character and become who He already sees us to be. And, you know, there's, for those of you who are scriptorians, the, the scriptures actually say, say that God sees us and, and desires for us that which is good. doesn't desire to punish us or, or, or destroy us. He, he sees us and wants us. He loves us. He wants us to become our greater potential. Well, we have to see ourselves that way. We've got to see ourselves and not beat ourselves up, be able to move on, not hold on. Uh, so she goes on. From your statement, I clearly understood that when we continually fight against or meditate on the dark circumstances, we inevitably develop the characteristics of those dark circumstances, transforming our personality and thought life. This is huge. This in turn influences patterns of behavior and repetitive life experiences. 
Dave, I'm not sure I can fully express how much I appreciate the time that you took with us, your listeners, to see beyond the surface. I'll post this. I, I remember reading this one uh, not, not too long ago, but I am truly grateful to Diane for, for bringing that up. Brenda writes, was diagnosed with osteoporosis a few months ago. My daughter has a cellar sizer, and I suggest, suggest that I get one too. I've been bouncing since the end of, of May. Nancy writes, I've been using a rebounder as my exercise regime since 2004. At the beginning of this pandemic, I was wanting to upgrade my previous rebounder, thinking it would help the pain that had developed in my ankles because of delays in shipping, etc. My order from Bellicon had stalled, and I had just sold my other rebounder, another Bellicon, in hopes of not losing any time away from rebounding. That didn't work out so well as I was ultimately without a rebounder for 11 agonizing days. While remaining positive, I would get a ship to notice from Bellicon. I was looking around online for new routines, and that's when I came across Dave Hall and his cellar sizer. I was fascinated by his examples of strength, his passion for promoting good health, his amazing body, and his integrity to stand behind the fabrication of his rebounder. Thank you. Within 45 minutes, I had chatted with someone at Cellar Size, and when she said, if you order today, there's a good chance it will be shipped today, I was sold. I canceled my order with the other company, and within a few days, I had my new Cellar Sizer. What a difference in everything. The balance, the approach, the various exercises, and the results. Thanks, Dave, for all you are and for what you do for everyone. You know, you guys affect me too. Uh, Cellar Size family is literally that. It's people all collectively working together to support and uplift each other in the journey that we're all going through in this life. Um, says, bounce on, this is from Claire. Bounced on a rebounder on and off for 20 years, then got to my late 50s, was wondering how I was going to continue working in my physical job, looked up how to get fit in 10 minutes on the internet and found David Hall. I thought if I'm going to buy a really good rebound, I'm going to do research while I save. So eight months later, after extensive research, came to the conclusion Cellar Sizer is definitely the best and I'm so happy with it. I've also bought one for my daughter and her family. Thank you, David Hall. Um, Diane writes, looking for something to move my lymph. Saw your video and was in, sold immediately. Here's something I want to share with you. Um, if a mini trampoline or rebounder is soft or too soft, if you don't have enough resistance, and, and there's got to be a balance, you have to have movement without jarring, but you also have to, re have, to have resistance without um, it being soft. If it's too soft and, and you're moving up and down, you don't have enough resistance, it doesn't move the fluid. It doesn't help build the bones or the muscles. We have to have the resistance, and that's, that's why we have the we call it a tridaptable spring. Uh, Ann says, not sure I exactly recollect. I think I came across you when looking for different things to do on the mini tramp. That would have been very early this year. From there, I researched the brand, made up my mind that I would was consistent using my mini rebounder that I would get a cellar sizer. I did, and my cellar sizer has been shipped. Uh, glad to have you with us. Okay. Um, let's see. In 2000, we've got so many of these. We won't read too many more, but I'll save some. We've got some really good ones here, it looks like. Karen writes, in 2007, my hubby was diagnosed with NHL. Um, I'm trying to remember what that is. I did some. I did some research and found Cellar Sizer. When I called for info, I spoke with a very helpful man who shared his lymph lymphoma story with me about the positive effects of rebounding on the lymph system. Non oh, non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Thanks, Brooklyn. That's right. I immediately ordered one. We used it quite a bit in our little house and eventually bought one for our son's family. We got out of the habit after a while, but then the lymphoma got ugly in 2018, and we have been very devoted cellar size or workout devotees, especially this year, and have been so grateful for the Facebook videos. We need to get another balance bar for my, her son and then order another cellar sizer for our daughter's family. I'm an official, I'm an unofficial cellar sizer sales person every chance I get. No, you're, you're all official. <laughs> um, no, that's great. Uh, I didn't see any questions in these ones today. Do you know any 
advice on osteoporosis? Osteoporosis, yeah, we've got some great customer reviews you might want to look on on our website under sellersize.com forward slash reviews. And we have a, a story of a lady who went from osteoporosis to osteopenia and what her doctors told her and how they said that's not possible and how she'd been tracking all of her results and scores. She's not the only one. We've had a number of people who've said the same thing. When we create or to create osteoblastic activity so that the bones will utilize the minerals within our, our diet and we need weight bearing activities. We don't need jarring. We don't need to hit a hard surface. That can be as damaging as it can be beneficial. Um, but we do need weight. Now, when the astronauts were floating around in space for two weeks, uh, they had lost up to 15% of their bone and muscle mass in just two weeks because it was weightless. So without weight, the body atrophies. It gets weaker. When we increase weight, it gets stronger. It was NASA's research on trampolines that led to the development of the cellar It was all weight-bearing. And since it's weight-bearing, it helped the body can utilize the nutrients to help build up more muscle mass and, and bone density. So it's very easy. There are certain things we can do on the cellar sizer for that. But um, please keep your questions coming in. I want to know how to best help and serve you. We've had a whole bunch of trifold cellar sizers hundreds of them that we shipped out to catch up. And I want to talk about the trifold, a little bit about the characteristics of the trifold for a moment. So, Brooklyn, if you can kind of follow me, I'm going to show what a trifold, this is, this is my personal trifold, of course, this is a trifold also. But this one has been bouncing around in a car for, for quite a while. This is my unit, it's 15 years old. You have much newer units. Um, but I still use mine. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. It's a, I tell people they need to be broken in a little bit, and when they're broken in, they, uh, they're like a nice warm slipper. So when I, when I have my cellar sizer, the new ones are going to be a little more stiff initially. I want you to see the play in this. We have six hinges on a trifold cellar sizer, and the six hinges allow for more movement in the frame itself and has a slightly different feel than a half-fold cellar sizer that locks into place. So the trifold frame actually moves some with you as you are moving, keeping you a little more centered. Um, my wife likes the trifold quite a bit more. Uh, a lot of people like the trifold because of the way it feels. The half-fold locks into place, so it's a little stiffer. The trifold actually moves with you. Um, it, and again, it's, uh, it's like a, I explain, it's like a skyscraper that is earthquake resistant. If the earth, there's an earthquake and the, you know, the earth, the earth moves and the skyscraper moves, it protects the integrity of the structure, doesn't throw things around as much. Well, that's the trifold. You move and as you're moving, the frame moves with you and the springs. You don't know it because you're on top of it, but it helps protect the springs a little bit more. It doesn't throw you quite as much and, you know, arguably gives you just a little bit better workout. But they're both made with the same materials. Halffold is going to give you the same results. Um, they're both very good. So on the trifold, you see it's nice and loose. Um, as I open it up, just pop it open here. You notice all the springs. Ah. This is what the, when I entered the industry, this is what the mini trampoline industry was using. And these little tube springs were really jarring. So, um, when I lift it up, you see that all the springs are in place. Everything is fine. You'll notice that um, there's movement in the actual frame itself, and it kind of can change shape a little bit while you're moving up and down or, or jumping from side to side to accommodate your movements. And when I lay it on the ground, it's completely flat. Okay. Now, I'm going to show you a newer trifold because a newer trifold is a little different. You notice that it has much less movement in it in the top initially. When you open it up and then pop it open, take a look at the springs because initially on a trifold, and this is normal. Initially on a trifold, they can be 
a little bit bent. If you stand on it and jump on it, they'll probably just pop right back into place. But you can also, when you're opening it, you can just give it a little pop, just like this. And they, then they, they pop right into place. As your cellar sizer wears on the steel, the springs are stronger steel than the pins. So you'll start to wear grooves into the pins which allows the spring to move based upon your own habits and habits of jumping. And as they wear on that pin, it smooths out the pin. And you'll notice after a while when you've done that, you don't have to put the springs in place anymore. They just pop into place when you open it. And that's, um, that's a little bit of the nature of the trifold. So as you're opening it, take a look at it and see how the, the springs are. And you can just generally pop those into place. Um, Would a cheap rebounder cause plantar fasciitis? Oh, good. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Here's why. <laughs> In fact, 1995, Dr. Morton Walker, who's a customer of mine, we lectured in universities and traveled around together. He's a very prolific writer as well. Um, Dr. Morton Walker came out with a, an article in the Townsend Letter for Doctors in 1995 warning doctors to avoid those units like this because the abrupt jarring effect, he said, quote, is the same as landing on the floor, unquote. You just do it a little later. It stretches a little bit and then the jarring effect is how we can tear muscles and ligas, ligaments and fascia. When we're on a cellar sizer, if we have a weakness or if we have a condition such as plantar fasciitis, when we're on a solar sizer, I encourage people to be barefoot because when you're barefoot, your foot will start to move to support your natural alignment, not the alignment of your shoe. So that as we solar size over a period of time, the bones, muscles, and ligaments start to become more flexible, which is a good thing. Because then when we go out and we do something more strenuous, then we're less likely to tear the, the fascia or the ligaments or tendons um, in, in the different areas of our body. So that's, uh, yeah, I just like to do it without shoes. Um, any other questions, Brooklyn? Uh, oh. Are there exercises to help with fibromyalgia? And chronic fatigue syndrome. Uh, yeah, we've got some great customer reviews on that as well. I can't make any medical claims. I'm not allowed to. I like to work with medical doctors. They like to tell me why the cellular sizer works, and I like to share with you what they often say. But, but the movement up and down on a cellular sizer is very gentle to the body. It can help reduce inflammation. It activates the lymphatic system while it moves fluid through the body. And as you activate the lymphatic system, which is activated by pressure changes within the body. So as we are moving up and down, as we move up and down, millions of one-way valves start sucking. And so the, we create within a few minutes a vacuum system of suction with millions of one-way valves pulling that circulation between the bones, joints, and tissue spaces, nerves, different areas of our body to help promote healing. And, and it's, it's very gentle. We've got a great, some great customer reviews. One lady who said on a scale of, of one to 10, her, fibromyalgia um, symptoms were 15. She was in agony. She got on a solar sizer and within weeks, she says her pain level now is between zero to three. That's a huge difference. That's huge. Um, and you know, she worked with her doctor and her doctor was one of my customers. So I really appreciated uh, her sharing that with us. But um, yeah, keep the questions coming. Let me know what you would like me to talk about in the, in the upcoming weeks. School has begun. I want to encourage all of you to have your children, if you can, solar size before they go to school. Here's why. Number one, bouncing up and down on a solar sizer, it's, it's a, it's a wake-up call for the body. The movement up and down is stimulating the thyroid, the adrenals, the endocrine system. Everything is gently working collectively together. It's not jarring. 
It helps to open up circulatory systems. It helps to break up sticky blood cells. That's huge. And we'll talk about more, more about that again in the, in the near future. But as we oxygenate the body, as the cell membrane gets stronger, it becomes more vi virus resistant. If we get on the cellulosizer as part of our daily routine and we run as fast as we can for one minute, we know, we know through Dr. Arthur C. Guidance book, Medical Physiology, that we can increase the number of active white blood cells in the body by 10 to 15 times. And they can stay there for up to one hour. So it's just like giving ourselves, I feel, our own natural antibiotic every, every morning when we first get up. A uh, lot of additional benefits that you can have. Uh, children who are learning, if you have to memorize something, try it on the cellar see what happens. Try, when you do it, the technique is you get on the cellar have something that you can read while you're bouncing up and down, and speak out loud. So if you're learning the timetables and you're learning two times two equals four, try to visualize it in your mind as you're moving up and down. Whatever it is, if you're studying medicine, same principle. See the word in your mind as you're moving up and down. I believe that, well, we know that there are chemical processes occurring within the brain as we are using it, and the movement up and down has had a profound effect on a great many people who have been able to learn faster and retain longer. So we've even been able to work with children that have dyslexia and helping to retrain the brain and the brain is trainable, and we can retrain the brain. We can, it, there's so much potential in, in, in that brain. And when we're moving up and down and doing different movements on a cellular sizer, we're stimulating up to 90% of brain activity. It's huge. Anything else, Brooklyn? No? Okay. So again, please share your customer reviews with us. Um, I don't have a lot I'm going to share tonight on the cellular sizer. Um, watch out for that Jamba run. <laughs> I've been enjoying on our, on our Mr. Rebounder app. I don't know, let's go back to, uh, there we go. On our advanced section, and so has my, my son. He's been doing it too. Um, the uh, second, it says weight loss. That movement is about 20 minutes long. Repetitions of the Jamba Run. Um, it really increases metabolism. So uh, if, if your metabol metabolism gets too high, you're going to lose weight. And if you keep it too high, you may lose too much weight. So um, there are those who, <laughs> who have that issue as well. So back off. Yeah, maybe do it only 10 minutes instead of doing the full 20-minute session, which is what that particular one is. Um, again... Yeah, let me know what you'd like. Now, if there are some of you who would like a new routine, we developed you know, over 30 different routines for beginning, intermediate, advanced seniors on our MrRebounder.com website. You can go to it. It explains how it works, how to get involved. You've got over 30 different routines that you can pick from, and then you can create your own, and you can save your own routines in your own personal library as well. So um, if you're creating your own and you want to pick movements. You will see a whole list of movements and you'll have an explanation of what those movements do. So if you... Uh... We have questions. Okay, Brooklyn, what's the question? Whoop. What do you recommend for ankles and feet that are very painful after I cellar size? I've been doing it for three weeks and I feel great except for my feet. Good. Cellar size has been very, 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 very helpful exposing weaknesses of all kinds and conditions. So if you're having foot issues and ankle issues when you begin, it's a good chance that you have some issues there and you know that, um, you probably know that. So there are some movements that are designed to help with the ankle and with the feet, and I'll show those to you real quickly. But um, it's, I always believe it's best not to wear shoes unless your doctor prescribes them because... If, if you are barefoot, barefooted, or in socks, your muscles, bones, and ligaments will start to move over time. And you may be experiencing that. They start to move to support your natural alignment, not the alignment of the shoe. 
if you're getting more movement in the foot and you haven't had a, that much movement in the foot for quite a period of time, you're going to notice that more than likely. Um, many of us did when we first started subtle sizing. So just go easy. Um, no high jumping. I wouldn't, you don't need to. Allow those muscles and ligaments and tendons and both bones to move and become more flexible over time. And it can take time depending upon your particular condition. But standing on, can they see this okay, Brooklyn? Mm -hmm. Standing on the subtle sizer and just lifting the heels up and down is going to work the arch of the foot, the ankles of the foot, as well as the foot itself. So this is a good one. Doing the twist, which is really good anyway for digestion, elimination processes, liver, kidney, spleen, gallbladder, pancreas, adrenals, lower back. I mean, it's really massaging all those internal organs every day as you move up and down side to side. I think it's the second most important activity we can do. But as we gently twist side to side, we're uh, also taking the foot and the ankle and moving it. Um, rocking side to side is simple, but also helps to work the thighs, hips, knees, and ankles as well. And of course, when we start to do the ski patrol or the whippy ski patrol, we're really going to be working the ankles. I would not do, um, or oh, this, this one here, fine. I mean, if you're, you feel okay to do that. I would not, um, while you're first starting, we want to build up the supporting muscles and ligaments around the knees and the hips. Leveraging too much weight too early to those areas can, if they're weak, can be uncomfortable. You want to build them up first. It takes ligaments and tendons longer to adapt compared to muscles. So um, we want to give, give it some time. But I wouldn't do the kick outs here side to side when you're first beginning because you're coming down with a little more momentum or stress on that side of the knee. Same. Mm -hmm. more questions. Oh yeah. Okay. Good. We got more questions. All right. For the this one here is great for the stomach, but rather than do this one, which really that's intense, a lot more intense than just doing a sit up. Um, that one I probably wouldn't do initially because again you're coming down straight legged um, on those knees. We want to build up the muscles. This is how we do it. We want to build up the muscles around the knees first, and these movements will do that. Um, same thing, kicking back. Um, when your back and your buttocks get stronger, your leg will come up more. Initially, with most people, this area is pretty weak because they haven't been exercising much with it. And so rather than the leg coming up like this, it comes up like this. Don't worry about that. It's okay. So if you're kicking your legs up like this um, with all that weight on it, when you come down, that helps lift, tighten, tone the whole backside. Yeah. Does rebounding 10 minutes a day help in reducing eye bags? If so, why? Yeah, eye bags. Okay. When we sleep at night, we lay down horizontally. Most of us do. <laughs> And when, that, when we do that, the fluid in our body wants to find its natural equilibrium or balance. So a lot more of it goes to the head. When we're asleep, we're not moving much. The lymphatic system is much more sluggish. Do I still have everybody? We lost the light. Can you get Brooklyn for me? Quickly, thanks. Honey. Brooklyn? We lost the power. Did we lose the power? Is it on? It's still on. Okay, is this still on? Sorry, guys. Our light went off for some reason. I'm not sure why. Hmm. Can you try turning it on and off again? It's um, does the original 10 minute routine really produce six pack abs without other exercises? Oh, yeah, but, but let's get the light on. Can we get the light back on? Because it plugs in. Hold on. Yeah, it should be. Okay, there's always technical difficulties. Today has been a technical difficulty day. Hmm. We'll, f <laughs> we'll f work on that later. Apologize for that. But um, so when you're laying down at night, a lot of the fluid goes to the head and it can fill up around the, the face. We get on a cellar sizer in the morning. 
It takes me about three minutes now of moving up and down on a solar sizer. Millions of one-way valves start sucking because of the movement. The pressure changes or weightless over 100 times a minute, and then you have weight. And so you have this pumping action, this suction occurring, and it pulls all the fluid away from, from the face, which is what, it, um, what it, it does for the eyes. And a great many of us have experienced that. As far as... Um, if if there if it's fat and things in the eyes and you know just just weight loss but um, but the circulation part of it cellular size can help with what was the next question? What? Four. Question four. Oh, what nutrition is essential to get your um, your body at sixties? I'm forty five. Okay, you asked another one though. Just be oh six packs <laughs> abs. Okay, you know something. I, I turned down an infomercial um, because of a movement on, <laughs> that I can show you that is extremely powerful for building up, you know, a six-pack, much more so than, than a typical um, sit-up. And I don't know if the camera can see me if I sit down here or not, but there's different approaches you can take on it. But if I sit down and I start to bounce up and down, all I have to take away my hands. These muscles are working. And it's simple. You do it watching TV. But you're still working these muscles. You can take your fingers and feel how tight that, that is. That's working. As you get stronger, you can lean back further and lift up one leg. And now I'm leveraging a lot more weight in this area of the body. Lift up the other leg. Eventually lift up both legs. Bounce a little higher. This movement up and down is all being done right there with the stomach muscles. But the way I like to do it, I like to tilt backwards. Because the moment you tilt backwards, all these muscles, all the way up and down, have to hold you up. When you move up and come down with more weight on it, instead of lifting that weight away from gravity by doing a sit-up, you're increasing the weight of gravity. And it's not just here. It's still on the entire body. That's what makes cellular size so efficient. And again, you know, I've read or shared with you some of the stories of people that are now in their 90s. Some of them have been with me over 20 years. And they're still telling me that they're enjoying a great quality of life. A gentleman called me up a few months ago to say thank you. And I appreciate that, by the way. So stomach muscles, leveraging weight. You can hold on to the balance bar. And that gives you more confidence which gives you the ability to leverage your weight a little bit more as well. That is a lot more intense than that. So, so yeah, yeah, you can, again, I'm not, a, not as young as I was, but, and you probably can't see anyway because of all the shadows, but still, the muscles are there. And that's, that's a guy who's going to be 64 years old in just over a month. <laughs> but... Um, yeah, so again, we've learned with cellular size, it's not about age. Cells are always replacing themselves. You can strengthen and improve the efficiency of a cell at any age. And that's what cellular size helps people do at any age. And we can start off on many, there's many, many different ways that we can begin with the cellular size. We address back issues and how to open up the back through different movements. Um, lower back. The, the movements like this, which may look a little funny, but I do it every day. It's great. Any other questions? Oh, yeah. You came. Did uh, Christine give you these? Hey, Christine. How you doing? Hope you're doing well. She's been great. She's behind the scenes helping all the time as we're going through the COVID-19. She was ready to bail me out tonight if um, Brooklyn wasn't able to make it here. Brooklyn, I tell you, she's a, I really appreciate her too. She's a remarkable girl. She's uh, graduated a year early from high school and is now in college and has been accepted into the nursing program. And she's, uh, she's doing great. So proud of you. Thanks. What nutrition is essential to get your body amazing in the 60s? I'm 45-year-old. Thanks. <laughs> I wish I had an answer for that. You know, people, my wife, everybody says, what is your diet like? 
you, uh, um, what did I have this morning? I had egg and chili. Um, this afternoon I had pasta with a salad. Um, it's more of what I don't eat. I, I don't... Um, uh, I like to eat the good fats and avocados and, and salads are good. Um, yogurt. I like yogurt. I'll put frozen berries in yogurt and some granola on top and sprinkle some honey on it. Eat that almost every night. It helps me relax better for some reason. I gently bounce on the cellar side and go to bed. Um, it's, uh, it's more I stopped eating pizza about, uh, I don't know, how many years has it been, Brooklyn? A lot. <laughs> Probably about six, seven years ago. Um, I, but but prior to that, I, you know, it's to me. I know. I, diet has a lot to do with health. You want to make sure you have good nutrients in the body. But if you're not perfect, cellar size helps to flush out what you don't need. It just the, it, you help the body perform more efficiently, so that it can utilize nutrients that it needs and get rid of the ones that it doesn't need. And digestion elimination processes that they improve. Um, our body, our body improves too. So, I think I can always improve on my diet, but I don't really know what the perfect diet is. I just eat as much as I can live foods. I like live foods, no question. Um, and and then the rest of my diet, and sometimes is not always convenient. But I still solarize, and the body seems to know what it needs to do if I can give it the ability to do it. So, does rebounding replace say jogging 5 km three times a week? Or good to have both? Well, Dr. J.E. Schmidt was quoted in Dr. Morton Walker's book. He was a member of the American Medical Association. Quote, jogging can kill you. Unquote. Jogging is great, but accumulatively, okay, accumulatively, jogging will probably take far more out of you than it's ever going to give you in return because of the ballistic impact and the jarring effect, especially on the joints. Now, that being said, we have a lady who is part of our solar size family, and she is wonderful, and we're going to, I've got some wonderful pictures of her, some stories of her. She has won so many different medals and trophies from um, triathlon type events and, and Ironman um, events, and she's 59 years old, and she's doesn't look it, and she certainly is in phenomenal shape. She does all of her training on the solar sizer. She's a truck driver. She works about 80 hours a week. And we have pictures of her taking her solar sizer out of her truck, putting it on the side of the road, and doing her solar sizing and getting back in the truck because she's got the trifold solar sizer. And she said it's, it's a hoot because she sees people that drive by, they honk at her, they'll give her the thumbs up, they'll, they really encourage her. But she's doing phenomenal. And, and she, that's, that's how she trains. And people ask her, boy, you must train a lot. She says, no, I, I sell her size. And it's, um, so yeah, it's, uh, saw your amazing test, the strength test before and after rebounding. Why did that happen? Ah, there's several reasons. With cellar size, we're not just working muscles. We're not working parts of the body. We're working the entire body collectively as a whole. If you ever take a stick, you take a little stick, and you break that stick, not too bad. But if you take a whole bunch of sticks, put them together, and then try to break it, it's kind of hard to do that. But when you're cellar sizing, you're not working one part of the body. You're working all of the muscles collectively as a whole, as one whole body. So when the whole body is communicating and the whole body is more balanced and stronger, you see that in the actual results. This is one of the reasons why I can, and I have, helped people improve their golf swing, the tennis stroke, their um, martial arts, their yoga, they're big in yoga because yoga, you're trying to create balance in the body and subtle size is and the techniques that I teach are phenomenal for giving you a better yoga experience, without question. Yoga, in fact, I'm going to close tonight because I don't want to take up your whole evening. But I'll tell you one story. I was in, uh, and you've, you've seen, you may have seen it. Um, it's been on YouTube. And she's, she was delightful. 
I was in front of a few thousand people lecturing, and there were, there were a lot of people there. At the very end of the lecture, I asked for volunteers to come up, and I was going to do the strength and balance test. And one of them was the yoga instructor for the, for the, for the event. And if you ever wanted to see a, a, a woman who was determined to prove me wrong, <laughs> she was it. And I loved her. I really did. We're up on stage. I've done everything. I, I get them on, on, the, on stage and I, and I did the test on the strength and balance. And of course, even though we had a bodybuilder, a martial artist, a yoga instructor, and several others there. And they all failed the strength and balance test. Because most everybody is carrying around all these imbalances in the body. They don't know how to get rid of them. Because they, you stretch one part of the body or another part, but you're never working the whole body collectively. And so, cellular size works the whole body collectively as a whole, breaking up blockages, opening up circulation, creating more chi in the body for those who are chi masters. They know that the chi is greatest at the top of the balance. Now, we generate energy through the movement up and down, but, but the energy flows through the body at the top of the balance. And, and as we come down, the body works collectively. Well, um, when I, tested her the first time, you can watch it on YouTube. She's on the right hand side of the screen on stage and, and she's just trying to prove me wrong. And of course, she, she, she couldn't. <laughs> and then I got him on the cellar sizer. And after being on the cellar sizer, we tested him again. Night and day difference. Blew her, blew the audience, blew everyone away. You can't argue it. Um, she became a seller size uh, customer as well. So we've got, all, all we're doing is trying to, if you like something, uh, you like bicycling, if you like skiing, um, if you like gymnastics, if you like sports or athletics of virtually any type, basketball as well, <laughs> there are reasons to consider seller size to enhance your overall performance. And we've been able to do that. I've worked with a wrestler who went on to win state in high school. I worked with a basketball team that also went on to win state. Obviously, it wasn't all from the cellar sizer, but if that gives you a competitive advantage, I taught the SWAT team in North Las Vegas, the program. When I was done, every single SWAT member there took home a trifold cellar sizer because they understood how important it was for them to have a competitive advantage. And when you're the only one around who's exercising in a balanced state and you have that kind of strength and balance and you take that with you, well, it's, gonna, it's going to affect your performance. And golfing is, is one of, one of the, the funnest to, to work with and see how, how much better they do. But again, if you have any questions, give me a call. Please, please share this with other people. We want to create the movement. There are a lot of people out there that are, that really need to give cellar size. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give it a try and, and know that this is a, is a one-time investment for a lifetime of benefit. We want you to be able to do it for the rest of your life. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to give me a call. We've been on the phone day and night. I apologize for those who've called and who've tried to get in. Please just keep trying. I'm sure that things are going to slow down. We've hired two more people. Um, if we need to hire more, we'll hire more. I just don't know how to read what the future is going to bring right now. Um, but remember, when you sell or size, you don't have to work out. You can now play in. And we make it fun, easy, convenient, effective, efficient,